Ralph Waldo Emerson said, all I've seen teaches me to trust the Creator for all I have not seen. I look forward to what I've not seen and what God has in store and will cherish every opportunity that He provides for me in the future. Thank you for allowing me the privilege to serve in this capacity. I've had the time of my life and I will miss each and every one of you, but look forward to continue relationships and God bless you all. Thank you. And with those words, we learned that the face of the Alabama High School Athletic Association will change. Steve Savarese announcing his retirement. You can saw that right here on WOTM. Welcome to our program. We are here in overtime. I'm Gerhard Mathigani, joined by Mark Everett Kelly. We'll get a lot of Mark's thoughts on a lot of topics regarding sports, including Jacksonville State's upcoming playoff game, as well as the Talladega Super Speedway, Major League Baseball, the Atlanta Braves. But we will start with Steve Savarese, the executive director of the Alabama High School Athletic Association, officially announcing his retirement today after 15 years on the job. Now, Savarese has not only been in this position for a long time, but he's been in education and around high school sports for 47 years wow. as a coach, as well as a teacher, and also an executive with the Alabama High School Athletic Association. He has announced that effective on July the 1st, he will step down from his role there with the AHSAA. Once again, was uh, known as a, a great teacher, a great coach, also had fantastic leadership skills, and a monument of different things that he's been known for as far as elevating the world of high school athletics, including revenue sharing and several other things that we'll talk about in just a moment. But he also had many, many, many lovers and followers at the Alabama High School Athletic Association because what he was able to implement within different sports. He was able to guide the sports leagues through several different areas of time, not only in athletics, but also in society. Of course, of course, most notably here recently with the latest coronavirus pandemic, we were able, after a shutdown last spring, we were able to get a full, a full fall sports season in, also a winter sports season in, and we're looking good as far as the spring sports season as well. He announced his retirement today, and the official president for the Central Board of Control, Van Phillips, shared his thoughts on Mr. Savarese. These memories will last a lifetime. We have seen a growth in all of our programs from A to Z. And at the same time, we have seen this caring commitment of fairness, integrity, health and safety, sportsmanship be the forefront of all Alabama high school athletic events. My heart is full right now because I know we're all going we all know he has given his own heart and soul to this association, to our member schools, and to our student athletes, a great sacrifice, a great sacrifice. I want to thank Mr. Steve Savarese personally and publicly for making this association the best athletic association in the nation. He is leaving big shoes to fill, but all I can ask him, ask is for him not to be gone too long and not to go too far away. We will always want and need his advice as we move forward. Now we will lay out some of the accomplishments in the Steve Savarese area, but we have to say that if, if we were to start, this program could last another three to four hours. He did so much in his time as 15 years as the executive director of the Album High School Athletic Association, some of the most notable moves and some of the most notable things that he will be known for in his time in that role is the revenue sharing initiative. Essentially what they ended up doing was paying back the member schools more than $18.9 million since 2010. And that's the best financial shape that the HSAA has been in in 100 years that the association was started back in 1921. He also was instrumental in moving the Super 6 or Super 7 football championships from Legion Field over in Birmingham over to Bryant-Denny Stadium and Jernier Stadium in Tuscaloosa and Auburn. He was also instrumental in adding Birmingham's Progressive Stadium. You might remember that's where UAB will open their big stadium. That will be it, a part of the rotation for the Super 7, another exciting move for the high school football championships. Also adding in sports, bowling, eSports, as well as indoor track and field back in the 2011 season. And here recently, 
girls flag football, one of the most uh, most fastest growing sports in the entire country. That is in a partnership with the Atlanta Falcons, and that is set to begin coming up this year in 2020 and 2021. He also saw the uh, the implementation of allowing homeschool students to participate in AHSAA events in their local areas where their local schools, if they are homeschooled, they're not uh, out of extracurricular activities, allowing them to play in the AHSAA. Also continue with partnership with the Bryant Jordan Scholarship Program. That program, one of the best in the country, is already distributing more than $11 million in scholarship money to worthy students in uh, Alabama and the surrounding areas. Also a leader in developing instant replay in partnership with DV Sports. Alabama, keep in mind, was the first state to implement instant replay in regular season and championship events. Mr. Steve Savarese stepping down. He talked a little bit about what his time will look like and what his time will be moving forward for him. Our children, now our grandchildren, unselfishly have watched their father and grandfather spend most of their time with others. Now it's their turn for however days God has for me left. Having an opportunity to serve as director of this 100-year association, again, has been the highlight of my career and a fitting end to my professional journey. But what a blessing and honor it's been to serve the 414 high schools, 312 middle schools, 15,000 coaches, 6,000 administrators, 156,000 student athletes, 8,000 officials, and countless communities in this state. I've learned so much from each of them, and I'm a better t person today because of all of you. We obviously thank Mr. Savarese for incredible leadership over 15 years. And on a personal note, I've got the chance to run into him on a lot of different occasions. He was very instrumental of having the state championship games right here on WOTM. We got a chance to, to see him, to talk to him for, uh, for multiple times over multiple sports. He loves all student athletes and students are always at the forefront of his mind and what he wants to make sure the Alabama High School Athletic Association wants to aspire to and be able to serve the students, serve the athletes and the communities. He's done a fantastic job. And as the board president said, Van Phillips said, this will be very, very, very hard and big shoes to fill as Mr. Steve Savary steps, steps away after 47 years in and around high school athletics, high school sports, as well as a, a teacher. And so that'll be effective on July the 1st. And of course, we will keep you updated as they make the move for the next leadership over in Montgomery at the AHSAA. Thank you so much, Mr. Savarese. And if you want to learn more, go to ahsaa.com. There's a whole write up there. You'll also be able to see that press conference right here on WOTM on various programs, including AHSAA Weekly with John Holder. Coming up next here on Overtime, we will talk Major League Baseball. The Atlanta Braves right now in a very, very compelling series. We'll chat with Mark coming up next. <laughs>